Uh, 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 ready for your daily stretching routine? You can follow along at home. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm not doing that right now. <laughs> All these leg stretches. Give me something I can do in my chair. Yeah, there you go. I can always count on deck dude. And then they just start blasting each other with fire and ice. Da -da 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 -da. Hey. Best genius. Can garner you greater experience and popularity. We know. We've seen this. <laughs> so much recap these days. The entire country will be watching. Very Skip. Forty-two of you qualified to move on to the next. Yeah, now Deku has a target on his back. Oh, my loins are girded. Those of you at the top will suffer the most. Ooh. <laughs> Interesting. He'll be worth 10 million. But it's a team battle, right? Who's going to be on his team? Things have changed so much since junior high. I'll say. But I'm still a target. But now he's a target for the right reasons, at least. Now you know the burden of being the best. Well, there's a very clear eye. <laughs> idea in this episode already. Everybody wants to be at the top except for the people at the top. <laughs> it's hard to imagine the struggles, the sacrifice. It's easy to only see the glamour. What we also don't see a lot of the time is the sacrifice it took to get there in the first place. The grind of it all and starting out in that grind without any guarantee of success and kind of eating dirt for a long time. And then one day you make it and it looks like you're an overnight success. People think that you were lucky, but they don't see that you basically bled for it. I mean, that's not always the case. Like there are people who do just end up at the perfect place at the perfect time, but I I feel like generally speaking, it's a result of unseen hard work. All Might probably knows this feeling really well. I bet a lot of people hate on him, but what they don't see is his incredible sacrifice. Who sacrifices more than All Might? The guy can't even make it to work on time because of his sacrifice. I mean, that's not really that much of a sacrifice. <laughs> but you know what I mean? You have to really love it, I think, to tolerate the pain you get at the top. That's one of the weird things about life that I think at first sounds kind of bleak, but ultimately is, is good. And that's, there's really no escape from difficulty. You know, there's no escape. You've never made it. Success always leads to new challenges. But I think there's something nice about just accepting that and taking on the challenge. And I think that as people, we need mountains to climb. I just think it's built into us to always have something to aspire to. I think it feels worse to be kind of lost and feeling like you're treading water than it does to have a specific challenge in front of you that you're working on. It's hard being at the top. Right, All Might? Strategy, strategy, strategy. Swipe as many headbands as you can to raise your team's score. Stolen headbands must be worn from the next. It's like Running Man. <laughs> the more you steal, the harder it'll be to manage them. Very interested in Strainer Guy. I don't know, Mina. Maybe we should wait and see how the teams turn out before we start strategizing. For my time being a student, I can say without a doubt that the hardest part of this challenge will be just forming a group. And then one of those people will do all the work and the other three will kind of sit by encouraging them. Ida would be one of those people. Ida would be the person to do all the work because in those situations, it's not always the people dumping work on, on one person. It's that that person is a perfectionist and takes it upon themselves to do everything without trusting others. A lot of times it's the people who are most wound up who end up doing the most work. Dangerous moment for Ida. No. It doesn't matter how many points my teammates have. It's not a lot I've of time. So many. I just need to make sure I pick the right people. Okay, I know who I want. That was fast. I'm impressed. Strategy, strategy, strategy. We both know this country's overrun with agencies right now. If you want to put food on the table, you've got to be willing to Blue step smoke on top right of in their faces. <laughs> that was the whole point of the first Yeah. Round. That's such a sad way of looking at our jobs. Seriously? You've never had a problem stealing the spotlight? That's exactly what she does, yeah. And she knows it. That first episode ended up being really, really important in so many ways. If they become pros, it'll be their way of life. I've still got a long road ahead of them. Hmm. Yeah, it's a tough racket. I bet a lot of heroes don't like doing this kind of stuff. They just feel like they have to. You should team with me. No, you definitely want me by your side. I don't want to beg, but please. Wait, remind wow, me Wow, look who's come crawling again. back. And your names. No, you're kidding. We're your classmates. I mean, the names thing I get, there's a lot of them. I was gonna try Todoroki, but he already picked a group. So that hey, was fast. we should team up. Hey, dumb hair. My name is Kirishima. Best friends, Kirishima. You want to be the writer, right? So you're gonna need a strong front horse who won't be hurt by your blasts. That'd be me. Wait, they actually have to ride each other? That cavalry thing is very literal. Shoji! None of the girls want to team up with me. Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> Oh, gee, I wonder why. <laughs> That's a good point, yeah. He's gonna win this this whole thing. The whole thing. What's up, Ojiro? Sorry. Give me 
makes sense. No one's worried about yeah. their own head target the back thing. and all that. Hey, Deku. Ah, she's always believed in Deku. If we run away the whole time, then we'll win, right? Um, you're either overestimating me or underestimating everyone else here. Billy. She believes in herself. It's better to team up with people you like. They can have a floating horse. Is something wrong? He looks so gross. <laughs> Friendship comes first. I'm afraid I must refuse your offer. Huh? You're a great friend. But if I continue to follow you, I'll never get stronger. No, you didn't know. Everyone's an enemy. I'm at the top. And they'll all be coming for me. I feel like Ida had more to gain by joining than by winning. Flashback to the entrance exam when he realized there was something more important than the test, right? I get it, but in my opinion, that was a missed opportunity to get something of greater value. Besides, at the end of the day, the best person you could possibly compete with is yourself. He's never gonna be Deku. He's never gonna beat Deku, unless it's in a race. To me, it feels more like insecurity. Like he just doesn't know his place yet. Cause that would allow him the freedom to do whatever he wanted. But I get it, they got careers to think about. Perfect, you're still alone. And you're the star. Team up with me, person in first place. This girl. Name's Mei Hatsume. Oh. Mei Hatsume. Weirdo from the obstacle <laughs> well put, well put. I'd like to use your current fame to my personal advantage. Forward? Yeah, there are other games happening at the same time. This is not the only game. Super cute little babies will inevitably be Stop calling them that. Don't ask. I packed a ton of powerful babies to bring with me, so I'm sure you'll find something you like floating around my arsenal. Like a gun. <laughs> Airjet, the Buster Hero has one of those. <laughs> Airjet, the Buster Hero. Quite the mouthful. Isn't he awesome? Oh no, some competition for Ochako. Oh no, she's threatened. <laughs> We got ourselves a love triangle from this random NPC. Pretty much everyone is on a team already. Well, that just leaves That's one person fine. then, doesn't it? We can work with that. In fact, I know exactly what power our team is missing. Straining spaghetti. <laughs> Colanders. Join me. Who? Who? They're so full of themselves, just like Tetsu Tetsu said earlier. Why are they stars? Because they're amazing. The only difference between us and them is that they fought a couple of villains. And also their immense talent. You don't know what they've been through. You have no idea. <laughs> I knew that would be difficult. Called it. Accurate. Accurate for school. Yes! Tokoyami? Yes. Tokoyami. It is time to learn his name <laughs> instead of calling him Birdman. <laughs> Tokoyami. We got this. But what's the plan? And you'll be attacking and creating diversions of ice and fire, is that right? Not quite. When I'm in battle. I never use my left side. Hmm. I wonder why. Seems like there's some issues there. Oh, and he's Zuko, and he's got a, a fire lord dad. Hmm. Hmm. Tetsu Tetsu. <laughs> no hard feelings, okay? Right. Tetsu Tetsu is all about the hard feelings. Three! Get him. Two! He's ours. This is such a crazy event that they're actually horses. We're running away! Don't think so! Yeah. Solid. Are they really though, or is it an illusion? What are the, like, the physical limits to the arena? Nice. Please continue to watch over our blind spots, Dark Shadow. Got it. This is five people. She's floating everything but her and the equipment. That actually is a really great strategy. So the weightlessness babies? thing is huge. Aren't they just precious? Yeah, but just stop calling them babies. Please. Please. No, don't don't feed the beast. Don't encourage her. Uh oh. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Speaking of Harry Potter, this is like Quidditch, where only one thing matters. Oh no, the sticky balls! I'm torn. Who do I root for? <laughs> I did bet on him. Why wouldn't it be? And Sue. This is a power team right here. And she's a strategist as well. Whoops. Your babies. <laughs> Good. I'm glad. <laughs> now what? It's amazing he can do this. He can actually fly. This power is really cool. Grab his headband while you're at it. Midnight said the obstacle course was just the first game. 
And we figured they wouldn't cut that many of us right off the bat. Smart, yeah, yeah. Strategy, strategy, strategy. All we had to do was make sure we stayed with the top 40. We ran. Very, very clever. Yeah, winning was a bad move. Class 1A's weakness. Pride. Who is this guy? You're kind of famous, aren't you? For being attacked by that Oh villain. no! This is like the worst thing you could say. Wow. The mind games, though. Who is this guy? <laughs> we have a change of plans. Uh. Aren't you out of the game? Mm -hmm. We're gonna kill every last one of these people. <laughs> I don't think that's how this works, but okay. Holy woe. Holy woe indeed. Everyone does kind of love an underdog. But if they're playing the long game here, they might not even bother coming after my headband at all. They just took out your biggest competition. And now we reach the halfway point of the game. Yeah, this looks like a very friendly father. Nothing but love and kindness for his son. As the cavalry battle enters its second half, it's anyone's game. No! Damn it. Damn it. I'll be taking that now. Well, that episode was fast. <coughs> do -do -do, do -do -do. Man, how is Monado going to win if he keeps losing? Starting to second guess my prediction of a Monado win. No, don't give up hope. <laughs> this show is all about hope. If you believe you can succeed, everyone loves an underdog. How do you win? Oh yeah, it's a it's a finalist thing, right? Like people people keep getting eliminated. So the last one will be a one on one, I guess. It'll be interesting to see what that is. But Deku, if he makes it that far, he'll definitely win that. He's kind of one punch man. Deku is more one punch man than one punch man because he can only punch once. <laughs> In this episode, although it was only mentioned briefly, I think there's an idea here or a warning for Deku and one that applies to All Might as well, which is from the outside, it's natural to want to be at the top, but the reality of that situation carries incredible costs that are hard to foresee. I think the obvious thing when you look at All Might is that he's a target for villains, but I think what's less obvious is that he's also probably a target for heroes. Not in the same way, like they're probably not attacking him, but there are probably a lot of people hoping for him to fail or gunning for his spot, you know? I wonder if Endeavor is one of them. Endeavor being one of them makes a lot of sense because that battle can be represented by Deku Todoroki. That would be a story of lineages, right? Maybe we'll find out that Endeavor left All Might to die in a volcano or something. It seems like there are going to be a lot of parallels with Zuko there. I thought it was just a physical nod to Avatar, but the fact that he has this austere <laughs> fire quirk father and has two sides, one of which he's afraid to use, it's a lot. In the end, he'll be able to use both in a way that's truly authentic, and it'll be the greatest story of all time. <laughs> And maybe along the way we'll get a, hello, Todoroki here. <laughs> so yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. I guess the next episode will be the end of this challenge and maybe another one. 